Hi, and welcome to another Secret Entourage Academy episode. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Brayden Moreno of Robot3D, uh, the co-founder of Robot3D, uh, a 3D printing company who raised uh, its initial capital on Kickstarter of over $600,000. And I believe that was almost 13 times what you guys were expecting to raise. Is that correct, Brayden? That is correct. Yeah, we had a goal of 49000 and uh 45-day campaign, we kept going back and forth whether we wanted it to be a longer campaign or a shorter campaign. We settled on 45, and yeah, we raised about 13,000 over our goal. So it was a it was a a big overwhelming success, but it's been you know a great journey since then. So, and I'll tell you more about that as well, we very cool. keep so talking. So you said you raised 13,000 over goal, or 13 times your goal? Just so we're clear. Thir Oh, yeah, yeah, 13 times, sorry. <laughs> 13 times your goal, okay, which is a huge, that's a big deal. So yeah. let, let's, we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk a little bit about 3D printing because before this interview, we actually posted on, on our site uh, asking people what they thought the future of technology was going to be like in 2014. And 90% of the answers said 3D printing was pretty much the wave of the future. So tell us a so, little bit about, first off, why you got into this, how you got into it, and then a little bit about what 3D printing really is and where it's heading. Yeah, so uh, I wasn't uh, originally the first person to get into it, but my business partner was. Um, he was actually doing his senior project at San Diego State University, Go Aztecs, and uh, he was doing a, a piece about using 3D printed parts to build prosthetic limbs. and. San Diego State had one industrial 3D printer that tons of these students were trying to use. So he had found out and he kind of researched into 3D printing and how it works and whatnot. And he found out about the personal 3D printing space, um, people that were building old RepRap models, um, the Prusas, all those kind of things. So that's how he got into 3D printing is he said, hey, these people are building these things at home. I'm going to build my own and uh, use it to basically print the parts that I need for my project. And so that's kind of how the whole idea spawned. It actually spawned on a napkin. Um, they're talking about building a 3D printer from scratch. How are we going to do it? What parts do we need? And then from there, we, you know, we grew it into what it is now. Uh, I came on board after they started building it, and I was like, "What do you mean you guys are building a 3D printer?" Like I didn't even think it was possible that they were just going to build one of these things for cheap. And uh, we started with a thousand dollars. We were able to build and finish our first prototype with that money. So, um, you know, and why I got into this space was be for that exact reason. I saw that 3D printing was going to be hugely advantageous, not only to small businesses, but to people that are trying to create things, people that are trying to be imaginative. And um, I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. And, and now that there's things like 3D file sharing marketplace.